Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Probably. Powered by From Software. Another Centuries Episode 3. Alright, sup everybody, this is Chaos Zero here. Wow, that feels really weird to say after so long. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to my next, hopefully LP. <laughs> Ace Episode 3, and another, em ep another, another Centuries Episode 3, the final, which it's not the final because after this is R and Portable, but yeah. Something you'll notice! Japanese! That was load data, I don't want to load my data. New game. By the way, I cannot read what's being said. Just so you all know. La da da. Well, so you don't want them to be styled, have them like that. Subtitles, and I'm guessing that's wrong. Difficulty setting normal, and let's, let's controllers, yeah. I know how to play this game. So. And you will be presented with text that neither of us can understand unless you speak Japanese. So basic plot of this game, crap happens, mobile suits from, or mechs from different series kind of start showing up and then they fight. The end. Oh, and there's also some really weird looking aliens and other stuff, but... We don't know any of that because we don't speak Japanese. Japanese, whatever. I'm gonna be... Probably gonna have a lot of people angry at me for crap that I say after this. So yeah, we come into a view of this weird science of this random scientist probably texting some most likely texting or calling someone probably texting it's newfangled technology yeah just some background information on this game this game was released for the PS2 exclusively in Japan and it's freaking awesome. Okay, so I'm guessing they're under attack by some mysterious force. 
And he's kind of like, what? Yeah, this guy end up, ends up being the... Well, I'm just gonna say, he ends up being the pilot of the Ace exclusive mobile, of the Ace exclusive mech. And there seems to be a rip in the space-time continuum. Oddly enough, for some reason, there's a rip in the space-time continuum, I don't know. And suddenly, with the tornado and the earthquake, comes a meteor to strike the Earth. So by this point, the Earth's kind of getting screwed over, and then there's mobile suits flying. I just say mobile suits because I watch Gundam a lot, so I'm just saying that. So yeah, meteors are falling on the Earth, there's a tornado. So pretty much Earth is screwed. And now the mechs are suddenly fighting uh, flying random fish-looking objects. And corn on the cup. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, some of the enemies in this game are like, what? Now the guy's get, getting attacked for some reason. And then stuff happens. And it's the first mech of this game. <laughs> and it looks pretty pretty. Random objects! No fear, I can shoot them. Yet, I'm a terrible pilot. Because I'm a champ. <laughs> Sexism in, Jap in Japan. Alright, it's not like this is and I'm, again, saying really stuff I am kind of punching myself in the face for, like, a second later. But, yeah, honestly, if you notice, like, pretty much any mech, well, not any mech anime, but, like, any Gundam anime, there is no female pilot of any of the Gundams. Except for, like, Sayla in the original, and that's about it. Well, no, never mind. I guess Rue and... Rue and Emma are pretty much it from the top, off the top of my head. Again, like, people are probably going to be like, people who know a lot more about Gundam than I do are going to be like, no, you're wrong, this and this and this and this, and we're not counting G, because I don't count G in terms of that. G's good, but like, get in the cockpit. And he's like, what? He's like, K. And oddly enough, although he's never piloted it, he's a lot better of a pilot than she is for some reason. Except it's a dual cockpit, like most of the Etika 7 mechs, which, oddly enough, there's Etika 7 mechs in this game. So he's like, you need to pilot this, because I suck, and then he's like, and then he's like, okay, and then yeah. You know, I wish this wasn't an Ace exclusive like character set, because I'd actually like to see a mech anime with like this mech and these characters, but you know, too bad. Too bad, so sad, whatever. Apparently she just said something. I don't know. Now loading! English text, woot woot. Don't get used to the English text though, because this is all in Japanese. With the exception of like two or three things. Yeah, here we are. Basic controls. X is to activate dash. Square is to use your shooting weapon. Circle is to use your saber or attacking or melee weapon. Triangle does... Triangle changes your... or turns on lock-on and changes targets. Clicking the right stick turns off lock-on. Uh... You control using the left analog stick, and if you double tap it in a direction, you dash in that. Pressing R and L, or par pressing R2, the R2 and R1 uh, moves you up or down in the air. Pressing L1 switches attack types. And... The, and that's about it. Sorry, I'm burping. Uh, you can see the vernier gauge in the near the bottom of the screen that shows how much dash energy you have, and then the armor gauge your health. And then the time, of course, is the time. It's the operation time you have to complete this mission. You will rarely take up. Well, you lose if you take up the operation time, except for a few missions where you have to like do X and X for X and X amount of time because X and X is happening.
but yeah. This game's pretty easy, but it's really fun at the same time. Again, it's a case of awesome games Japan gets that no one else gets, because... Believe me, there is an abundance of mech animes that even, like, hardcore mech anime fans in the U.S. who don't watch, like, Japan exclusive animes would not know what the heck they're from. Probably. This too. Ooh. Yeah, that just changes the arm position. Okay, now other people from other enemies are showing up and I'm like walking on things randomly. Alright. So yeah, we're getting help from other dimensions now, I guess. And he's being the typical mech anime character who's never piloted a mobile suit before and like tweaking out because he's killing random things. Oh, more enemies. Uh, yeah, you can run out of ammo in this, but pretty much all the yeah, you have a set amount of ammo for all your weapons, except for your sword, of course. And when you run out of ammo, pretty much all that happens is you lose the ability to use it for a few seconds, depending on the strength of the weapon. Trust me, if I seem like a little awkward flying as this mobile suit, or, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna call them mobile suits by this point. Like, the only things I won't call mobile suits are the LFOs, and if I ever play SAR, then Nightmares. Aside from that, I'm pretty much gonna call everything a mobile suit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry about, like, the lack of uploads, like, over the past few months, it's just school has kind of been not fun, so I really didn't have time to record, so... Yeah, yeah as I said, if I seem kind of awkward with this, it's because I am used to piloting other stuff. Like, trust me, like, later when I get, like, Gundam X, and... I'm gonna try pilot. I guess I'm gonna try piloting the freedom a little bit when I get it, or when I can get it. Some things you get through the story, some other things you get by doing special tasks, and yet still others you have to purchase using points that you get, or using the currency you get in this game. And like things like freedom, you have to. So yeah, I may play as freedom. I'll probably play as God Gundam a bit. I'm like, what I'm gonna do in this LP is I'm not gonna like. Pretty much, I'm not gonna, when I get X, play as X the entire time, or when I get his Wing Zero custom, I'm not gonna cheap out the entire game as him. What I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna, like, you know, like, for maybe, well, I'm gonna stick to usually con consistent partners, just to have them stay leveled up. But generally, I'm gonna try to spread the wealth out a bit for, well, and partners too, for the mobile suits and for partners, just so you can kind of see how each one plays individually. Just, you know, so you don't get, like, bored saying, like, own everything is either Wings or Custom or X or God Gundam. So it is very fun owning everything as God Gundam because it's so OP, but... It is God Gundam after all. Half paying attention to the down into the freaking recording because I don't want it to crash like it has done in the past. Yeah, something aside from just something else you may that is kind of useful to know is you can actually do combos by pressing the square button in the middle of circle button combos. It's pretty useful to know. We also oh yeah there we go. Oh, that actually works. Is that it? That's it. So now they're like, we're gonna help you, troll. Why would that be a troll? We're gonna help you. I also don't know what the crap I'm saying, so yeah.
Oh, yep, and there's people. I think those people are good guys. I don't know, though. So they're all like, sub, now we're gonna point our guns at you. So yeah, they are bad guys. So yeah, let's go. So rock and roll. Zaus. Lock on to everybody. Yeah, everyone has different has a different set of things for their special attacks, like Gundam X and Double X, their satellite cannon, X's grenades. God Gundam has all of his signature moves: erupting burning fingers, Sekia Tenkyoken, shining finger, er, erupting burning finger, er, erupting God finger, uh, Typhoon, er, erupting God Typhoon, whatever it is, you know, the thing he uses once. Wing Zero Custom has a lot of crap that involves using the frickin' double buster rifle. Buster rifle, whatever. And that's it, I think. Yeah, I think that's the first mission, and it's been like 17 minutes, but whatever. Oh, yeah. By the way, double tapping the boost, or the ascend and descend button makes you dash up or dash down. Pretty useful for, to know for mobility's sake. Oh, wait, what? Random fade out. They're firing up for some reason. What could they possibly be firing up at? Oh, it's me, okay. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, I haven't put the. Yep, and now. Something, something, 58. Something, 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 period. Something, 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 something. Something, 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 something that's a name. Something, something, something. More somethings. Lots more somethings. Something, something. Something, something, 59, something. Something, 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 dash, something, oh, one. Something, something. Something, 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 something. Something name, something, something, another name, something, period, another name, another name, 60, something, something, another name, something, something, B, name, or something, 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 one, something, I don't even know, but something is going on, and something must be done about this something, otherwise something will happen. I think I've used the word something enough, don't you guys agree? But yeah, now like everyone's like, yeah, and now the guy's like, I'm a pilot now, and I can be awesome sauce because I'm a pilot. <laughs> and weird stuff is being sent in this cockpit, so who knows what's going on in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Um, I, I, w I wasn't just making some sort of joke about something, except he's asleep. So maybe something was going on there. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna drop it. I'm just gonna drop that topic. Just like, now I'm alone. I don't know what's going on. Now I'm gonna fall asleep too. And now it's gonna start raining. Because rain is annoying. I, don't know. I like rain. Rain is nice, especially in a place like Arizona, you know, where you don't get very much rain. It's a desert. Another Centuries Episode 3, the final. Except not. You gotta love it when games say that they're the last one and then they like release two or three more games after that. It's like I swear in one of the songs. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll save. Saving data in my other slot because I don't want to overwrite my other file. Yeah, I haven't done everything in this game. Da da da.